Whether it's the bubonic plague or Ebola, diseases have threatened and killed millions of people throughout history. Part of the problem, engineering vac vaccines is a lengthy and expensive process. Now a new group is trying to change that. The Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness Innovations launched in January with an aim of creating vaccines for epidemics most likely to hit the human race in the future. It's already started working on three priority diseases. Welcome Trust Policy Advisor Nancy Lee joins me today to explain some of the science behind this incredible initiative. Good morning, Nancy. Good morning, Ben. So this seemed to have grown out of the Ebola crisis, which saw vaccines tested in the middle of an epidemic for the first time in history. What did we learn from that experience? So we learned a couple of things from Ebola. We learned that the world wasn't prepared. Canada can experience firsthand um, in the past in SARS uh, what it's like to deal with the dangers of an infectious disease. So what we hope to do in CEPI is um, develop vaccines ahead of time so that we are better prepared for the next outbreak. Well, currently CEPI is uh, focusing on creating vaccines for three different diseases. We mentioned that off the top. So there's Middle East Respir Respiratory Syndrome, uh, Lassa Fever and mm -hmm. Nipah. Is that, am I pronouncing that correctly? Yes. So, so right. why were those diseases chosen? So those three um, diseases have been chosen from the WHO list of priority pathogens. So they are um, pathogens that the World Health Organization have identified as being uh, diseases that we need countermeasures for. We had an independent scientific advisory committee then prioritise those against a number of criteria, including the public health impact, the risk of an outbreak and the feasibility of vaccine candidates. Now, I'm not an expert in science, but I do know a thing or two about movies, and I always hear about how viruses are constantly mutating uh, and they get ahead of modern science. So how will the vaccines that CEPI creates address that threat? Right, and you're right, Ben. Um, they are constantly mutating, and there will always be new emerging infections that we aren't prepared for or know about to come about. So CEPI will also be supporting the development of adaptable vaccine platforms. So that means technology which can be tested on particular uh, vaccines, but if there's a new emerging infection that comes along, it's adaptable so that pathogen can be plugged in, so to speak, and we can, again, develop a vaccine faster. Uh, two, two issues that laymen uh, would, would see with this uh, si system is how long it takes to get a vaccine to market and how expensive it is. So talk to me about this first part. Um, what are you doing differently that's going to speed up the process of getting the vaccine in the hands of those who need it? So as we saw in Ebola, we were very lucky. There was a Canadian um, researchers already had uh, a vaccine uh, ready to, to go into clinical trials so it could be tested in the field. We hope that we can have developers and researchers um, have vaccine candidates so they can develop them early so that they're ready to go. In terms of access, the idea of bringing a, a global uh, collective together is that we can enable these vaccines to be available um, wherever they're required across the world um, at an accessible price. Uh, well, and let's talk about price because there's no way that engineering vaccines is an inexpensive process. So where's CEPI getting its funding from? So CEPI is getting its funding at the moment from the Wellcome Trust and the Gates Foundation, um, a number of countries, J Japan, Germany and Norway have committed funding. Um, we understand the, commission, the European Commission and um, India are also willing to commit funds. Um, this is a fantastic opportunity for other countries, including Canada, who is leading in global health, um, to join in this um, global collective to ensure that we have vaccines ready to be better prepared for the next infectious disease outbreak. Well, this is a noble and vital cause. And uh, thank you so much for your time. Welcome Trust Policy Advisor Nancy Lee.